You know what time it is. Time for us to see which letter of the alphabet makes for the best home floor plan. Today we're going to be tackling what I think is going to be one of the most difficult letters of the alphabet, the letter G. So here we are in our G shell. We are officially on the second row of letters in the alphabet series. Also, as usual, please leave your comments down below for what we should do for the letters H and I. You guys know that I rely on your comments and do take them very seriously. As for today's theme, there was one suggestion that particularly caught my attention, and it looks like a lot of you guys were on board for this one as well, and that is G for grunge. And I don't know if you can tell, but I tried my best to like dress the part as well. I don't know if this is just like edgy style and not so much grunge, but I did my best. I've also never done anything remotely grunge in The Sims before, so I was doing a ton of research. I was watching YouTube videos, browsing Pinterest, I was even reading articles about grunge decor. And I think I'm gonna go for more of the newer grunge aesthetics that have been popular lately, so I really hope you guys like it. Okay, let's try and floor plan this bad boy. Okay, you guys, this is the best floor plan I could come up with. Down here is going to be a very large bedroom with a walk-in closet. This area right here is going to be the living room. I might actually make this a little bit more open concept to make the living room bigger, but I haven't decided yet. Up here on this platformed area, we have the kitchen and dining room. And then all the way in this corner over here is going to be the one and only bathroom. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit skeptical about this floor plan, but I'm gonna trust the process. So let's Let's get started. I think I'm gonna start on the bedroom first just because I feel like the bedroom is where there's the most personality. One thing that I was pleasantly surprised to learn about the grunge aesthetic is that it doesn't just mean like dark and moody colors. It actually just means like muted and gray toned colors. So a lot of rooms that I was looking at had white on the walls. So I'm actually going to put white on the walls for now. And then I'm gonna cover these white walls with a ton of personality. I want there to be lots of room to display decoration so I'm gonna take these black cubes from the dream home decorator pack and kind of like line the entire wall They are modular so they snap together really easily So I'm just gonna make basically like a floor to ceiling display of these Next, I'm gonna take a half wall to provide some room separation and kind of act as our headboard. For a bed, I'm gonna grab this plain white one from the Seasons pack, and then I'm just gonna alt place it as close as I can to the shelves. Okay, it's not exactly fitting how I want to, so I might have to change the direction of these shelves. Okay, that definitely works much better. Now, this room is looking very minimalistic and not grunge at all, so I'm going to decorate the shelves and the walls a little bit. I cluttered up the shelves with some books, some plants, some CDs, also this cool skull sculpture. Now every single grunge room that I saw had like vinyls and records as decoration. So I'm just going to search for records in the search bar here. And we actually just got this stack of records from the basement kit, which I think is perfect. And they happen to fit into these cubes like an absolute glove. So I'm gonna put a ton of these in these empty cubes. It most definitely brings in that grunge factor that we we were looking for. And yeah, I just placed them randomly. They're not symmetrical at all, but I think with the grunge aesthetic, it should be very effortless and easy and not too like try hard. Checkered prints are an absolute must with the grunge aesthetic. And I do seem to remember that we have a checkered print rug somewhere. I just can't remember where. Oh my gosh, is it from the pastel pop kit? Yes, it totally is. Oh my gosh. Who would have thought that the pretty pink pastel pop kit would have the perfect rug for this type of room? This aesthetic definitely relies on a lot of expression on the walls, so I do want to add some sort of interesting tapestry. One of these from high school years would be absolutely perfect. This black one's pretty cool, but also this blue one's pretty sick as well. I'm worried that this one's a little bit too blue. I think I'll use the black one and then I might reuse the blue one in the living room. So I'm just gonna place it over there so I remember to use it later. On top of the tapestry, I'm just gonna put these fairy lights. Now you might be surprised that I'm using fairy lights in a grunge aesthetic, but seriously, I was seeing so many grunge bedrooms use these fairy lights. This is probably more of a modern trend, but honestly, I am totally here for it. And I'll just finish it off with a couple of our favorite like band posters going up the wall. For overhead lighting, I wanna go for this kind of exposed light bulb moment so this one from laundry day would be absolutely perfect and last but not least finish it off with another random plant just down here on the floor it was really interesting to learn that there is a very like specific subcategory of grunge called like plant grunge so using a ton of plants is definitely not out of the question and oh my gosh this black and white checkered one is actually perfect here through here i really
really wanted to do a like moody walk-in closet. So I am gonna go one shade darker here with my paint color to get that more muted vibe. And then I'll basically just build out a modular closet using Dream Home Decorator. For the hanging clothes, I tried my best to find clothes that like fit the grunge style aesthetic. So I saw this one with like a t-shirt layered on top of a striped long sleeve, which is definitely on theme. So lucky for us. And then at the end here, we obviously need a full length mirror. So I'm gonna take this one from Discovery University and press the nine key to raise it up just a little bit. And then I wanna make some sort of wall collage around the mirror. It's time for these vinyl records from the high school years pack to shine. So I'm just gonna put these basically all over the wall. Okay, I have them basically like raining down the wall. And then I also found this like skull decal from Get to Work that I thought would be kind of cool. And I'm basically just filling any empty wall space with some sort of poster. Here's our grunge inspired walk-in closet all done. I really felt like the grunge home needed to have its own walk-in closet because the grunge fashion aesthetic is also very prominent and very trendy right now. So definitely the Sim who lives here loves fashion. This bedroom is surprisingly coming along really well. I do want to decorate this little corner here. Let's start it off with some windows here for some natural light. I went with the black swatch. I imagine the Sim who lives here like painted the windows themselves. And then I wanna go in with this hanging plant from the Blooming Rooms kit. You guys, I am not joking when I say that this hanging plant goes with literally every single aesthetic on the planet. There is no situation where this plant is not the vibe and I will fight you on that fact. For blinds, I'm actually gonna go for these like very generic minimalistic looking ones. Something about these blinds just screams like effortless and not overly curated. Kind of like they just came with the house and the Sim who lives here is like, yeah, whatever, I don't really care. <laughs> Do you kind of get what I'm saying or am I making like literally no sense? <laughs> Lastly, I'm just gonna grab more of these CDs and put it on this blank wall behind the plant. Here's this half of the grunge bedroom all done. I really like it. It's looking really similar to a lot of the inspo photos that I've seen. So I hope it's living up to your expectations, you guys. Let me know if you would live here in the comments. So for this side of the bedroom, we do have some options and I do wanna make this into kind of like a flex slash activity area. Since they have a ton of records, they're obviously into music. So I was thinking that I could put maybe like a keyboard maybe like an electric guitar or something. I grabbed a keyboard, a guitar, and a mic. So maybe the sim that lives here has like a modern grunge band, in which case it would be perfect to put one of these garage door decorations on the wall. So I'm just gonna grab this one from the City Living expansion pack, use the left square bracket key to size it down by one and just alt place it right here on this straight wall. Because of the garage doors, it's kind of making me want to put like a brick wall behind here or something. You have to imagine that this was definitely one of those like peel and stick wallpaper things that The Sim did solely for the vibes. I also want to put this full length base game mirror just on this wall directly across from all the instruments so they can like watch themselves and make sure they look cool while they're playing their music. The high school years pack is once again pulling through with a ton of cool like posters and collages. Let's go with that and then I do want to grab these fairy lights again and incorporate those somehow. I will admit that it does feel a little odd to put these like delicate fairy lights with this grungy aesthetic but I will say it does look pretty awesome and the Pinterest inspo does not lie. But it does kind of make sense because the whole vibe here is about self-expression. So who's to say that fairy lights are only for a specific type of aesthetic? Anybody can enjoy them. I'm going in with this pattern neutral rug from the City Living Expansion Pack. Now to me, it does look a little bit boho, but when you contrast it against the garage door, the brick walls, and this grungy collage, I think that it actually kind of works. To finish off this room, I'm just gonna add this clothing rack from high school years right here. This could act as like a place for your guests to hang up their coats but it could also be for costumes for the band like their performance outfits could be hung up on here okay here is the garage band room all done perfect for you to have some friends over to rehearse your grunge music so the room feels nice and open but at the same time there is quite a lot of room separation so i think that we use the space really efficiently so let's move on to the rest of the house now okay here we have arrived in the living room so this is a super tiny space to work with so first things first i'm I'm just gonna start off with a simple couch. Now I don't know if I wanna lean into the more simplified definition of grunge because when I initially thought of the word grunge, I literally just thought it meant dirty. But when I started doing research, that's when I found out there was so much more nuance with the type of decor and the plants and the wall decorations and like the color palette. 
but I think technically we wouldn't be wrong if we leaned into something more like simple and basic and worn down as well. So I think I might go for this simple couch in the base game, which reminds me of like a typical like basement couch or I can go for one of the new couches that we got in the basement kit. Okay, this black swatch honestly isn't bad. Like it looks a little bit worn, but it doesn't look terribly worn. So I think I might go for that one. And then to frame this tapestry, I might try and use these curtains from the Blooming Rooms kit. Fake vines and leaves are something that I saw in so many inspo picks. So I definitely have to use this at least once. Just went with a basic TV setup. And then I think I wanna cover this entire blank wall with records and Polaroid pictures. So let's see if that turns out as good as I think it looks in my head. I am pleasantly surprised with how that turned out. I will say that it's probably a little bit more color than the typical grunge aesthetic color palette, but these are like the only vinyl records and Polaroid photos we have in game. So we are kind of limited to what we have. This is gonna be the front door by the way. And I think it'd be pretty cool if we put like a commercial exit sign on top of this front door. I don't know, it's giving like edgy and grungy in my opinion. I need to find another rug that fits the vibe. So I went to the rug section and filtered by the color black. And these are kind of our options. This one that we use in the bedroom was too perfect. So I need to find something that matches this energy. I think we definitely need to go for something with like geometric shapes. So I was also considering that this metal great one from Get to Work could be kind of cool if we sized it up because I know that black and white like grids and lines down definitely fit the grungy aesthetic. You guys, I kind of like this one. I never thought in a million years that I'd be using this rug in a living room, but there's a first for everything, I guess. I changed the wallpaper to gray to match the closet and then added this vintage lamp from the groin together pack. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with these fairy lights because for some reason I can't seem to shake these fairy lights, okay? I'm putting it in every room. I honestly think the fairy lights really complete it because you have all this dark, black, moody furniture and then you have these cute, bright fairy lights. It just gives so much depth and personality into the Sim who might live here. So here's our grunge inspired living room all done. It has a lot of black dark furniture and then a ton of color and personality all over the walls so it definitely is maybe a little bit more colorful than i would have liked but i still think that it turned out absolutely perfect nonetheless but let me know what you guys think Onto the home stretch, we are going into the kitchen. I did add this little industrial fence here to separate the platformed area. I'm not gonna lie, there's not a ton of inspo for like grunge style kitchens and dining rooms per se. So I think it's a safe bet to stick to a darker and more muted color scheme here. We could maybe even go for these industrial base game counters. They do look pretty nice in a dark swatch. And then I'll just make sure to grab darker appliances too. Instead of cabinets, I'll just go for open shelving and I might try and use these cube ones that I used in the bedroom to kind of tie it all together. And then I'm just going to clutter up these shelves with various decor pieces, not just kitchen stuff, but anything that will show some personality. Okay, promise not to get mad at me for repeating items, but I seriously need something to like add some pizzazz to this kitchen. So I'm taking the same rug that I use in the bedroom, sizing it down with my left square bracket key and using it as a kitchen rug. The kitchen really needed some personality and that rug is like iconic in my opinion. Okay, so for the dining room, we have a decent amount of space to work with. And and it wouldn't be a bad idea to piggyback off these counters and grab the matching table. This one is actually from the industrial loft kit. It's kind of cool that they came out with a kit that complements the base game so nicely. And these natural wood tones look super pretty and realistic. Like they did a really good job with this one. Now, what exactly does a grunge bar stool look like? I feel like as the build goes on and on, I'm getting more and more confused as to what I think grunge means. I think it's because most of my inspo was for bedrooms. So when it comes to like the kitchen and stuff, I'm like totally lost. Okay, I went back to my research because I really wanna get this right. And a Google article says that a typical grunge room is inspired by hippie and rustic styles as well. And the reason for that being that grunge enthusiasts didn't really care for material things too much and usually just scavenged for things or got a lot of their furniture from thrift stores. We also just can't go wrong with these plain wooden stools from the base game as well. They definitely match the color palette perfectly. So I think those are probably a safe bet. This blank wall here is the perfect opportunity to tie it all together. So let's do another kind of poster or photo collage here. 
Basically anything that looks like a band or music poster, I'm just gonna grab. And I feel like I can't go wrong with that strategy. I might even take this base game poster and like layer it over this high school years one as if they're trying to like cover up one of the posters that they don't like anymore. Well, here is our finished grunge inspired kitchen and dining room. I will say it is quite difficult to portray a specific aesthetic and a ton of personality in a kitchen specifically. But at the end of the day, I feel like someone who likes a grunge aesthetic would like this kitchen and it does seem to go with the rest of the home. So I would say mission complete. Okay, you guys, we finally made it to the bathroom. Now I just need to turn on my building brain and let my mouse guide me to the most grungy toilet that it can find, okay? I'm gonna let my mouse do all of the work and I will think less. And I think uh, this one, this one right here, might be the grungiest toilet I've ever seen. What do you guys think? This is me not taking any accountability for the choices being made in this bathroom. Whatever happens, happens. Let's do some dark tile on the wall too, just to really lean into that dark grunge vibe. I'll be the first to admit that I generally just don't really care about bathrooms too, too much. As long as they're functional, in my opinion, that's good enough. <laughs> But for the curtains, I'm just gonna put these same curtains here, but I'm only gonna cover two of the windows as if this third window, you know, it broke off and they haven't gotten around to fixing it yet. You know, stuff happens. Ooh, and these wet towels from the Everyday Clutter Kit are definitely perfect here. So I am thinking maybe I should do a graffiti wall. This one is from Get Famous and there seems to be quite a few swatches. So let's find a good one. This black and white drippy one is kind of cool. And I kind of imagine they had like a friend who's a really good graffiti artist. And they said, hey, can you come to our bathroom and do like graffiti art on the wall in our bathroom? Because we've been meaning to renovate it, but it's gonna take a couple years till we get around to it. So in the meantime, Time, we're gonna let you graffiti all over our walls to make it look more interesting. I'm gonna size down this base game painting like three times to act as a mini bath mat just near this bathtub. I think that these black and white brush strokes kind of tie in to the graffiti on the wall there. And then I'll just add some plants and then we're pretty much done with this room, you guys. Here's our grunge inspired bathroom all finished. I think considering it's a bathroom, we did a pretty good job at portraying the grunge vibe, especially with like the shower open without any walls, the graffiti, also the like exposed pipe sink here like that. I don't know. It definitely feels very dark and trendy and grungy to me. And I think that the Sim who lives here would definitely like this. But you guys, that concludes our G-shaped grunge home. It was so fun to do. It was really challenging. This is like the longest it's ever taken me to film an episode because the style was just something that I wasn't familiar with whatsoever. Now I did take a more like modern approach to the grunge style, drawing inspiration from different like subcategories of grunge, obviously. So I hope this is what you guys are expecting. This is kind of what I concluded was appropriate based on like the Pinterest photos and stuff. And I do really like how it turned out. It is completely out of my comfort zone, as you guys know. And I can definitely picture like the Sim who lives here, which I think is really important. The vibes are immaculate in here. I'm actually so happy with it. And I'm having so much fun with this series, you guys. So if you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you still like this series and you want me to keep going. We are only seven episodes in and I'm really going to need your support to push through all 26 letters. Please do let me know your suggestions for the letter H and also the letter I. You guys know that I take your feedback and your suggestions very seriously. I literally can't wait to see what we're going to do next. So I'll see you guys all in my next episode. Love you.